Hi, my name is Lloyd from electricsense.com and today I'm going to be talking about another form of electromagnetic pollution which is called dirty electricity or DE. Now dirty electricity, I don't want to get too technical on this, but basically uh, you probably remember from school that the uh, electricity is represented by a sine wave and normally electricity should be in the 50 hertz uh, region and dirty electricity means there's other there's other waves which get attached to it which go along your uh, electricity cable so the way to test dirty electricity is with a device like this uh, which is called a Graham Stetson meter uh, which is named after the guys who uh, invented it, Mr. Graham and Mr. Stetzer and uh, quite simply you plug it into your uh, main supply now uh, I live in France so I've put a, a French plug on this to do it, I don't know if you can see this I've got it actually on a, an extension cable also so you can I can speak to you easily but uh, basically you can see it just plugs into there uh, and uh, it gives you a reading, just to very, it's very very simple to use it gives you a reading on here, I don't know if you can see it uh, but um, awkward with the microphone but uh, actually it's giving quite a high reading at the moment it's about 100, uh, 100 103 um, around there and so the the recommended levels is uh, below 50, already 50 is considered quite high so you see I, I've got some work to do on this, it's just as well I'm doing you this video and when I bought the meter uh, which was a while back now, about two years ago, I did test and the levels were good and uh, it's since changed because what you need to understand is it depends on what uh, electrical appliances uh, you've got in your home and it also depends on the um, you know what the, the the incoming electricity supply that could be polluted uh, in itself so it, it's something which changes over time so it's something you need to keep your eye on um, the uh, so say the recommended level is be is, be is below 50 uh, ideally uh, sort of we're in the uh, on under 25 um, the what you need to, to, to use this meter you need to really go from room to room because it does vary uh, throughout the house and you can protect yourself from dirty electricity in various ways the way that I've used what I've uh, used is these devices uh, which are uh, uh, fer ferrite um, um, which you actually clip around uh, cables um, and that, that can give you uh, protection also there is uh, other devices you can, you can buy a pulsing meter, which um, which which, uh, which which can minimise the the dirty electricity uh, in your home, and also the like um, one of these uh, uh, multi uh, multi adapters, multi plugs, socket multi sockets uh, that also exists with a built-in um, uh, protection on it, built-in filter on it also. So you'll see uh, basically the way to protect yourself from dirty electricity is to either buy or hire one of these meters, they're not very expensive uh, go around your home, you don't need to be a technician to do this uh, you just plug it in as I've just shown you go around your home, go from room to room plug to plug because you can even have things like uh, lights, uh, CFLs are pretty uh, pretty bad for that kind of thing for, for creating dirty electricity um, and you can see just by uh, you put your meter on uh, you've got a good reading you switch your lights on you've got a bad reading you know that you light your light bulbs affecting uh, your uh, dirty electricity levels and so you go throughout your house with this meter testing and making uh, appropriate changes uh, fitting these onto for instance this is one which I've got fitted on my uh, computer cable, the one that goes from the CPU uh, into the wall uh, which is kind of a main source of uh, electromagnetic pollution and uh, so I say just go through your house and test it and it's really simple uh, to do. My name is Lloyd from electricsense.com thank you for listening